Renata takes me to the Mercado Municipal. But before we enter, we meet up with Bertrand Busquet, our Calabot colleague in Brazil. This chef was born in France, but now lives and works in Sao Paulo. The reason why Bertrand is joining us quickly becomes clear when he reveals a surprise for the both of us. Et alors, Bertrand, comment ça va? Ça me fait plaisir de te voir. Plaisir pour moi. Plaisir pour moi. Comment ça va, Renata? Tout bon. Tout bien? Tout bon. On est où ici? C'est le marché, le marché central. Ah, c'est le fameux marché. C'est ça. Ok. Então, marquei uma reunião aqui para vocês, com vocês, para anunciar uma coisinha, uma surpresa, assim. Vamos organizar uma batalha. Oh, batalha. Vocês vão, sim, uma batalha. Uma confrontação entre vocês dois. Vocês vão, sim, sim, sim. Vocês vão ter que refazer uma leitura de um clássico, você, Renata, brasileiro, incluindo ingredientes da terra do Alexandre. Muito okay? bom, ok. Belgica. Belgica. Et toi, Alexandre, tu vas devoir faire une relecture d'un classique belge en incorporant des ingrédients brésiliens. Ok. Ah bon, okay. Então, ah vamos bon. aproveitar de estar aqui na frente do Mercado, o maior mercado da cidade, ok? Para você descobrir alguns ingrédients que talvez você não tem, não são até agora, ok? okay. Okay. You will need to help me, Renata, because I don't yeah, know much about I'm the Brazilian ingredients. Yeah, I'm pleased about it. Yeah, of course. And then I will invite you to my okay. school to prepare all this. Okay. And it will be, at the end, the public who will decide the winner. Wow. Good luck for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Shall we go? Yeah. Okay, Let's go. great. Bye bye. The Mercado Municipal is the biggest covert market in Sao Paulo with an incredible offering of local fresh fruits, nuts, cheese, meats and so on. With this challenging battle coming up, I try to absorb as many impressions and local ingredients as I can. Yeah, this is yeah. a cachaça, our typical ah, cajon yeah. in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, very famous. That's uh, the alcohol that you use to make the yeah. caipirinha. Yes, yeah, that's okay. true. Okay. Yeah, okay. and the uh, cachaça is made from the sugar cane. It's fermented, but ah. uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, we have a lot of uh, sugar cane here in Brazil. That's we have a lot of uh, typical cachaças here. That's very interesting. Yeah. We walk into an open market to get acquainted with more Brazilian ingredients and typical dishes. Renata buys me a local delight, the famous pastel, a sweet deep fried pastry with banana and chocolate. It tastes lovely. While we are exploring the wonderful world of ingredients, I can't stop thinking about our duo. I have to give a Brazilian twist to a Belgian pastry and praline. Renata will have to give Brazilian recipes a Belgian twist. People in the street will be our judges. I can't wait to start my preparation. We go to the Chocolate Academy where Bertrand awaits us to kick off the battle. Ok, chefs. Vocês conhecem a sua missão. Vocês sabem os sabores que estamos esperando. Em suas posições. 3, 2, 1, vamos! thinks he's gonna win, he's wrong. I'm gonna win. So I'm gonna prepare, uh, the first plate is a uh, brigadeiro, that's very popular here in Brazil, and uh, the match is gonna be the speculus that's gonna be on the base of the brigadeiro. And uh, the second one is uh, mousse, you know, the mousse of uh, beer, and then it's gonna be a coulis of a fig and a framboise. And for the final touch, I'm gonna make it a foam of a beer to put on top of that. I'm gonna win. So today for the battle, I will do two preparations. The first one is the pastry, is a classic miserable which I will revisit. Instead of having an uh, almond biscuit, I will do that uh, with a cashew nuts and uh, some nips. And the buttercream will be with a flavor of uh, tonka. Uh, the second preparation, it will be a chocolate uh, praline and I will do a caipirinha uh, ganache. And I'm really sure that the Brazilian audience will prefer my dessert.
Então, nós os dois chefes são realmente cansados agora, depois de um dia todo de trabalho para nos preparar receitas bem legais que amanhã as pessoas vão descobrir. Realmente, não sei quem vai ganhar, mas vai ficar um duelo bem interessante e acho que amanhã as pessoas vão provar coisas bem saborosas. Now it's uh, 11 and 30 and uh, I'm pretty exhausted because I wake up at uh, 4 a.m. and uh, I can feel my legs. I'm pretty tired but to be honest uh, quite happy about uh, the result. I think tomorrow is going to be a very nice day because uh, I'm going to win. I just need uh, tomorrow to uh, finish uh, the decoration and you know what, I'm pretty confident. I think I'm going to win this duel. Chegou a hora do público degustar. Vai ser ele que vai determinar quem vai ganhar. 3, 2, 1, vamos! Eu acho que o belga ficou muito melhor, está mais gostoso, a textura maravilhosa, apesar do brasileiro, obviamente, ter o gosto da cerveja, né? a cerveja paixão nacional do país, mas eu vou ficar com o belga muito melhor. Eu gostei mais do pão de ló com chantilly, você gostou mais de qual? Eu gostei do chocolate com a cerveja por cima. Muito Maravilhoso. boa a mistura de sabores, bem interessante. O chocolate meio amargo, eu acho que deu um, um toque especial com a cerveja, foi incrível. Chegou a hora da segunda etapa da nossa batalha. 3, 2, 1, vamos! Bom, os dois estão ótimos, mas para mim o sabor brasileiro é a caipirinha, viu gente? What an experience! Both Renata and I feel exhausted after the duel. But the enthusiasm of the people here in Brazil is heartwarming. And of course, I want to know who has won. Bertrand takes us to the highest place in the heart of São Paulo to announce the result. Enfim, temos o resultado. Para falar a verdade, não foi tarefa fácil. O público como é, ficamos bem divididos, mas tínhamos que escolher um ganador. Então, na primeira etapa, o vencedor foi, venceu, Alexandre. Yes! Well done! Mas tínhamos uma segunda etapa. Sim. Uh -huh. E na segunda etapa, foi vencida pela Renata. Yes! Bravíssima! Yes. Brava, 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 brava. Parabéns, Renata. <risos> Thank you! Então, pelo fato de ser um empate, decidimos organizar outra batalha. Ok. Very good. Ok? Sim. Perfect. Em breve, voltaremos. Ok. Obrigado. Merci. Merci. Obrigado. Obrigado, Renata. Obrigada, Bertrand.
foi um prazer. Meu. Até mais. The next morning, I meet up with Renata to say goodbye. She takes me on the last tour throughout this stunning city. Under the watchful eye of some exceptional mural art, we share our ideas and experience. So Alex, this is the end of the Brazilian adventure. Unfortunately. <laughs> what did you think about it? Tell me about Well, uh, to be honest, the experience was uh, really unbelievable. The plantation, an amazing, an amazing uh, moment. Um, then after, uh, obviously, uh, the, the, battle. Yeah. the battle. I was really, really amazed, you know, about uh, the interest of the people, the crowd that uh, we get there, yeah. the people, you know, with this huge smile, you know, playing the game, you know, tasting the, the chocolate. Yeah. That's the way we are, because we're in a sunny place and uh, everybody's smiling, very open for our experience like that. To see, you know, this queue uh, behind us on the table and uh, whatever, we really, uh, really enjoyed it. But to be quite honest with you, uh, I was not uh, sure about what I was really uh, doing, you know, because not knowing, you know, the the, the flavor that Brazilian Brazilian likes uh, and so on is not really easy, actually, you know, to, to point and to make sure that uh, that they will uh, appreciate uh, what uh, what I'm going to do. Yes. Well, for me, the challenge was uh, research. What is the traditional Belgian uh, pastry and ingredients? So I choose a beer that uh, everybody here in Brazil loves too. I want to match it with the the bitterness, the the bitterness of the beer from the, the chocolate. And uh, uh, people doesn't like very much bitter chocolate here, but uh, I use a 70%. But uh, I, I thought it, it was good. But for the Brigadeiro, I choose a speculus. And uh, people here knows it's a crunchy, yeah. it's a biscuit with a lot of spices, and they put brigadeiro on it, and uh, they love it. I think, I think already when you say the name brigadeiro, you're yeah. already a winner. <laughs> huh? That was a good move from your side. That was a really good move yeah. from your side. That's true because I know the Brazilian flavors. Yeah, yeah, huh? Absolutely. Right. Renata, I will miss you a lot. Ah, so you know, do I. I really want to uh, thank you, uh, thank you a lot for this uh, experience, and I hope the next one will be in Belgium that you're gonna come to Belgium. Yeah, I want to thank you first because uh, I could share with you some of uh, our Brazilian stuff, and uh, I'm so glad. Thank you. It's time to go back to Belgium with a suitcase full of memories, chocolate stories, and with my Brazilian cocoa beans. We'll soon dedicate a great chocolate to this cocoa and to this great country.